Morning, all. Morning, 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 morning Bobby. Bobby. Oh, the usual, please. One coffee to go, coming up. Now then, <clears throat> I need your help. Well, we do our best, Bobby. What's up? We've got a special training exercise today for the police, fire and ambulance services. Oh, thanks. The thing is, no one will have time to go out for lunch. That's no problem, Bobby. We'll deliver sandwiches. Yes, leave it with us. Well, thank you. That's a problem solved. Everyone will be really pleased. See you later then. Bye. Bye, Bobby. Bye. Hey, Mia and I could deliver the sandwiches on our bikes. Oh, yes. Please let us, please. Good idea. Of course you can. <coughs> Calling all police, fire and ambulance units. Are you receiving me? Ambulance crew here, Bobby. Receiving you. Max here, Bobby. Receiving you. Fire crew here, Bobby. Receiving you. OK. The emergency you are going to attend in a moment is not a real one. But you must pretend that it is. Barney and I want to see how well you all work together. Stand by, please. Right. First stop, the fire station. Helmets on, Mia. There's no need. It's not far. It's not about how far it is. You should wear your helmet. But I look silly in it. Hi, Bobby. We're ready to go. Thanks, Barney. <coughs> Calling all units. Calling all units. Emergency. Emergency. We have a fire in the city. Here are your instructions. Come on, then, Scoot. Let's get there first. to wear a helmet, Mia. No, I'm not going to. Come on, we have to deliver these sandwiches. But, Mia... Come on, Martin. I'll write carefully, all right? <sighs> all right. Good work there, Elfie. Well done, you three. I can see Raf. He's looking out for his lunch. No, he isn't. He's watching out for fires. Hi, Raf. Hello. Mia, he can't hear you. Just keep your eyes on the road. Stop fussing. I am. Whoop, whoop. <coughs> oh. oh, Mia. Raf to Bobby, Raf to Bobby. Mia's had an accident on her bike. Can you send Tina to check her over? Bobby here. We'll do, Raf. Oh, you're lucky. It's just a scrape. But you could have hurt your head, Mia. Why weren't you wearing your helmet? Because I look silly in it. OK. Tina to Max. Tina to Max. Can you get over here as soon as possible? I need your help. Mia won't wear her cycle helmet. Max here, Tina. No problem. Relax, relax. You can count on Max. Hey, here's Max. What do you notice about him, Mia? He's on Scoot. And? Hi there, sandwich people. <laughs> He's funny. OK, that's true. But the important thing is, he always wears his helmet when he's on Scoot. Isn't that so, Max? Yep, always. You see, Mia, you should always wear your helmet too. But I look silly in my helmet. I look silly in mine. 
But I wear it anyway, to be safe. Well, I think you look cool in yours. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, I know. How about this? We'll do a deal. A deal? Uh-huh. Here it is. You agree to wear your helmet for the rest of the day. After that, it's up to you. You mean it's her choice? Yep. But my guess is she'll always want to wear it. What do you say, Mia? Um... Yes. OK. Done. <laughs> Good for you. See you later, then. See you. Bye, Tina. Thanks. Bye. What's your clever plan, Max? <laughs> You'll see. Relax, relax. Leave it to Max. Max to Ted. Max to Ted. That's a great idea, Max. I'll do that. Don't forget to tell Elfie. OK, Max, will do. Hi, Frankie. We've brought lunch. Oh, good for you. They're all ravenous in there. Have you got the sandwiches? Yes, all here. Brilliant. Thanks. Come on, Mia. Uh, wait a moment, you two. We've got something for you, haven't we, Tom? Oh, yes. Here you go. They're special badges. You've earned them for being the fire service's delivery team. Wow, thanks. Where do we put them? Well, on your helmets, of course. I've never had a special badge before. You deserve it. Oh, thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 Elfie to Ted. Elfie to Ted. They'll be with you soon. Thanks, Elfie. We're already here. Hi there. Are we glad to see you too? Oh, thanks, Martin. We've got something for you. They're helmet badges for being the ambulance services delivery team. Hey, thanks, Ted. Oh, thank you. They look great. Thanks, Tina. Enjoy your lunch. Bye. Ted to Max. Ted to Max. They're on their way. Thanks, Ted. We're ready. Just the people we wanted to see. Oh, thanks, Mia. Now, guess what? We've got special badges for you both for being the police services delivery team. <gasps> wow, brilliant! That's three badges for my helmet. Hey, thanks! Bye! Go carefully! Bye. Bye! Well done, Max. Mia loves her helmet now. And that's all down to your smart thinking. <laughs> <laughs> now you're never going to take your helmet off. Well, I like wearing it now. It's cool. But you were right. I should wear it anyway, because it's the safe thing to do. <laughs> Relax, relax. Leave it to Max. Looks like a peaceful day in the City of Friends, G. Not so peaceful here, Raph. Peachy's got an emergency call coming in. Over and out, G. Stay alert, Raph. Cooling off, Elfie. I'm topping up my water tank for the next emergency, Raph. Will you let me know if Frankie needs me? Take as long as you like, Elfie. I'll keep my eyes on Frankie. Thanks, Raph. <laughs> You're supposed to score goals by smashing the ball over the net, Jumpy. <laughs> Who cares? It's more fun this way. <laughs> Quick, Martin, smash it over. Oh, oh, 
Frankie, not the netball game. Oh, what am I going to tell Elfie? What's going on? Hey, Raph, where's everybody gone? I'm sorry, Elfie. I've not been keeping my eye on the job. They went without you. We heard Frankie's siren. Which way did he go? Huh? Shouldn't you be with Frankie and the fire crew, Elfie? Yes, Martin. They left without me. It's all my fault. <gasps> whoa, whoa! Never be able to put out the fire without me. Maybe one of the other emergency vehicles could transport you, Elfie. Let's give them a call. I've got radio contact. I could put in a call for you. Gee, can you hear me? Emergency! I hear you, Ralph. What's your problem? We need Petey and the police crew over here right away. <sighs> Oh, I just can't get in! Oh, it's no good. I'll never fit inside the police car. <laughs> you might fit inside Abby. Good idea. Abby's bigger than Petey. <laughs> it won't work. Abby and the ambulance crew have gone to the fire too. Maybe I should just set off on foot. You'll never catch up with Frankie. They'll be miles away by now. Oh, you could borrow my skateboard. Thanks for the offer, Jumpy, but I could never balance on your skateboard. Oh, what am I going to do? <gasps> Where's Elfie? We can't put out the fire without her. We'll have to go back and get her. But Tom, there's no time. We've got to put out the fire before it takes hold of another building. There must be a water hydrant we can connect up to. Come on, Tom. There isn't a moment to lose. Whoa! <laughs> Cheer up, guys. It might never happen. Barney and Tom have gone off on an emergency and left me behind. Oh. You can take Scoot to catch up with Frankie. Thanks, Max. But I think I'd squash Scoot if I stood on him. Huh? <gasps> Why don't we tie Scoot to Jumpy's skateboard? What would be the point of that? By putting them together, we could double the space for Elfie to stand on. Very clever, Martin. That's a great idea. Yeah, but will it work? Trust me, it will work. <coughs> Just need a couple of planks to connect Scoot to the skateboard. We're going to tie the whole thing together. Can we help, Max? We're brilliant at tying ropes. Yes, of course. Now, let's pull this rope really tight. We don't want it to fall apart. Okay, Martin, you go first and test it out. Yeah! Jump test, boss! Safer 
as a row of houses. Your turn now, Elfie. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh, it works! <laughs> yeah! Yes! Yeah! Oh, yes! <laughs> board is fantastic! Barney, I've located a water hydrant on the other side of the square. Good work, Tom. Let's get Frankie hitched up right away. Oh, Elfie! Elfie. Quickly, Todd, lower my bucket. Come on, team, let's put this fire out. Elfie's beating back the fire. I want to apologise for letting the fire crew down. Oh, don't worry about it, Raph. I loved whizzing along on my scooter board. I'm sure I went faster than Frankie. Oh, impossible! I'm the fastest emergency vehicle in the City of Friends. I promise I won't play games at work anymore. Stick to having fun when you're off duty. Stay! Uh, <laughs> I promise I will. <laughs> Morning, Frankie. Hi, PT. Fancy something to eat, Tiffany? Certainly do, Tom. Just got to get Timber out. <laughs> Looks like Timber's hungry, too. Sandwiches, drink, camera. Hi, Timber. Hi, Timber. Hey, are you guys going on holiday? We're going to track wild animals' footprints in the City of Friends forest, Tom. Whoa, I didn't know there were elephants and tigers in the City of Friends forest. <laughs> Not those kind of animals, Tom. We're going to take photographs of rabbits and deer and birds and put them in our school nature books. You can take a photograph of me for your school book. <laughs> Come with us, Tom. It'll be fun. Sorry, Barney and I have to clean up the fire station today. That's not what real firemen do. Real firemen do all sorts of jobs, Martin, including sweeping the floor and washing dishes. Are you busy, Tiffany? Afraid so. I've got to finish some police reports for Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> I know you think police reports are boring, Timber, but they are an important part of my job. <laughs> Poor Timber. Why don't you take him with you? Really? Really? <laughs> I'm sure he'd rather be in the City of Friends forest than stuck indoors with me. <laughs> hey, Mia! Look at these! It's an animal with webbed feet. The tracks must belong to a duck. Come on, Timber. Let's find some ducks. <laughs> There are hundreds of duck footprints. 
Shush, Timber. stuck in his paw. Can you get it out? I can try. <coughs> Sorry, Timber. I was only trying to help. Let's take him to the City of Friends Hospital. Tina and Ted will know what to do. Timber can't walk. The thorn will go in deeper if he puts weight on his paw. We could carry him to the hospital. Mm, he's far too heavy. We've got to do something, Martin. We could leave Timber here. Whilst we go for help. We can't leave him. He'll just follow us. Maybe we could tie him up to one of the trees. First we must cover up his sore paw so that he doesn't get any more dirt in it. Oh. Sorry, Timber. Oh. I'm being as gentle as I can. You'll be comfortable here, Timber. We'll be back as soon as we can, Timber. Oh. Promise. Oh. Stay, Timber. Oh. Stay. find Abby and the ambulance crew. And I'll go and tell Tiffany the bad news. <sighs> oh, calm down, Mia. You'll do yourself an injury. <sighs> Abby, we need your help. Timber's hurt. He's in the forest. <laughs> Tiffany! Timber's hurt. Oh, where is he? In the forest. We had to leave him there. He can't walk. Are you sure, Martin? There are lots of places that look the same in the forest. I think it was here. Look! Timber's footprints! OK, we'd better split up into two search parties. Ted, Mia and I will go this way. Martin and Tiffany, follow me. The footprints stop here. There are more over here, Tina. Timber must have gone this way. There are fresh footprints here. Could this be Timber's hair? It's definitely Timber's. He must have snagged himself on the bushes as he went along the footpath. Well, at least we know we're on the right path. This way! Oh, we thought we'd lost you, Timber. Hi, Timber. What do you suggest, Tina? Do you want to try getting the thorn out with tweezers, Ted? <laughs> Hold still, boy. Ah, it's out. Well done, Timber. <laughs> Calm down, Timber. There's more to do. I've got to clean your sore paw and bandage your leg. 
Let's take a picture of Timber, looking like a wounded soldier. Smile, Timber. You're a very brave boy. You deserve a smiley face. And you two deserve a smiley face for tracking Timber down. Thanks, Ted. Thanks, Ted. No jumping about, Timber. You can't put weight on that sore foot for a while. <laughs> Here's your chance to see how a portable stretcher works. You're going to be carried out of the City of Friends Forest in style. Look, Petey's waiting to take you home. Hey, Timber, take it easy. I'll have you back at the police station before you know it. There you go. You're going to have to keep an eye on him, Tiffany. He'll need to have the wound cleaned twice a day, and he must rest. <laughs> I don't think Timber's going to be an easy patient, Tina. Probably not, but it's the only way he'll get better. Thank you for all your help. Our pleasure, Tiffany. See you later. See you later. You know, we set off to take photographs of local wildlife, but we've only got pictures of the ducks and Timber with his leg in a bandage. <laughs> I suppose we'll have to do it all over again. Can you do me a favour? Of course. Sure. Don't take Timber next time. <laughs> Tiffany's right. Let him get over this adventure before you take him on another. <laughs> <laughs> Want a lift home? Yes, please. Hop in. <laughs>